Where did you get a cold mug of beer as a correctional officer? It doesn't make... What do you mean you don't know? It came from somewhere. What's up guys and welcome back to Paint the Town Red and for today's episode we're going to be getting to some levels that I missed. You know normally when I'm making one of these episodes I'll download all of the highest rated and most subscribed to and just best levels on the workshop for the week and then when I'm recording either because of time restraints or because of the topic that I've chosen for the episode some levels will get left behind and then I never get around to them and it's a real shame because some of these levels are awesome. So today we're going to start off with Life in Prison, apparently one of the best prisons that's made in this game. And uh, I'm already off to a bad start. We got some guys eyeballing me. They want to feed me their meat. I'm not all that interested. Oh, thank God, Jim. Okay, we're, we're going to get through this together, okay? We're in it to win it. We can take those guys. Jim, I know I put on a tough act, but I can't do this. Did you see the size of that guy's meat? I'm going to die in here. Looks like I'm the next to be processed. Do you need anything from me? Can I maybe borrow this? Oh, you're cool with prison weapons? Are you guys sure about this? <laughs> I get the feeling I'm gonna get tased, but it's worth a shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Prison weapons, huh? All right, well, I guess we should uh, meet some of the cellmates, block mates, I guess, technically. This is an impressive prison. Yeah, not super high security. <laughs> Is this guy selling a machete? You guys are drinking on the job! Where did you get a cold mug of beer as a correctional officer? It doesn't make- What do you mean you don't know? It came from somewhere. <laughs> you definitely bought it from one of these guys, didn't you? They have like a bar on staff in here. This is ridiculous. Okay, is this my cell? I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, you look like you're the kingpin of this place. You got a steak and a basketball and extra double wide cell and extra double wide guards okay well this uh isn't looking all that promising i can't get up to the next floor can i oh wait maybe we can again i don't know if i should be snooping around you guys cool with me snooping around <laughs> no locked doors no doors on cells you can have weapons you know everybody's pretty well behaved here I was thrown off by the giant pirate, but it turns out this is actually a gym, which makes complete sense. Oh, okay, Tim, Tim. Okay, Jim is waiting at the entrance. He's gonna be processed any minute now. And then I have you. So we have two friends and that guy seems to be going off the rails. Is he assaulting a fridge? Are you allowed to do that in here? You know what? It's not my concern. I don't care. Snitches get stitches. I'm just gonna keep walking. Didn't see anything. I'm just gonna go upstairs and, uh, Okay, we got the cafeteria here. No friends around, more guys with their meat. Man, they told me about this part of prison. Should definitely make sure not to drop the soap in the showers and nobody wants to pick up that ball for good reason. Kick. Oh, this is the kitchen. Oh yeah, okay, we have uh, prisoners serving the food. Interesting, okay. So we're getting a lay of the land, but I don't know if I need to try to escape or murder everybody. It's gonna be hard to kill everybody with only three friends. Are you cool? Yeah, you're cool, okay. You're, you're just stiff as a board. I don't think you're gonna chase me. Oh, this is like their weapons locker, maybe? No, really no limits in this place. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I found the upper, upper bowl. Yeah, this is where the guards just keep watch, right? Anybody gets out of line in the cafeteria, you shoot them with bean bags or whatever the case may be. All right, very good. Definitely could kick you in the back of the head and end you right now, but I won't. I'm, I'm looking for escape first, right? Or shotguns. One shot. Hey, you know what? One shot's all it's gonna take to get rid of the poltergeist in the wall. You okay with that? Who am I trying to kid? Of course they're okay with that. They're okay with a prisoner having a shotgun. They're okay without doors. They're okay with weapons. Everything is perfectly fine. Can I go in here? Yes, okay. There has to be a way out, right? There's always a way out. If you can get into a prison, more unlocked guns, then uh, you can get out of one. Oh, we got the police chief giving everybody their missions. I see how it is. Well then. 
Doesn't look like there's a way out of here. Uh, excuse me, gentlemen. I know, I, I, listen, this is just gonna be a second. All right, you go back to drinking your beer. I, ju I just need to have a, a talk, so I'm just gonna sit on your face really quick. As the newest prisoner, I feel it's my duty to tell you guys that this place is not exactly safe. Okay, you have a bunch of violations, a bunch of issues, and I know that I could just lecture you guys and go on, but I feel like the best way would just be to show you. You see, prisoners shouldn't be able to do that. Wow, there was a whole lot of tension here. They didn't do team building exercises. This is not gonna do it all, guys. Look, there's a prisoner running right past you. He's gonna feed me his meat. I don't think so. No means no. We, we need to do some trust falls, okay? That's gonna be the first step, so trust fall. There you go! You see, you caught him! And now you're humping him. That's that's just a little bit misguided trust, okay? You you guys lose. Bonesaw, I swear, okay? I have no idea where the beer tap is. I just found this and it's mine, okay? You can't have any. You can have the glass if you really want. One of the highest rules in prison, other than making people's heads explode, is to respect other inmates' privacy and space, okay? And if you guys can't do that, whether you be a guard or not, then I am gonna have to just go berserk. I may have only been here for a few hours, but trust me, okay? I know my way around a prison. I've been in and out of them and paint the town red for a very long time, and I know the rules. Like I said, snitches get stitches, explode heads, privacy, don't drop things. I got it all under control, and this is the punishment. Can I just leave? No? Who needs to find a way of escaping when the front door is open? <laughs> of course not. I have a moral compass. Are you guys just cool with what's going on here? <laughs> that's concerning. The fact that these two guards won't budge with everything that's happening because of, I guess, what you're capable of. I mean, you're called Big Dog. Maybe you can catch a glass in your mouth. Oh, oh, okay. Um, yep, they're gonna go after him. Didn't wanna take any chances. You never know when somebody's gonna be some kind of superhuman in here, right? He, he could very well be uh, the guard could very well oh, be a skeleton all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, are we go- Um, we're not good. I knew we had to be some kind of mutant. Get back, get back. Oh, I got him. Did I get him? I, I think I got him. His torso has no meat left on it. <laughs> Electricity was his weakness. Oh my god, I love the skeletons in this game. I wish you could see them more often. The fact that everybody has bones inside of their brittle little meat body is fantastic. Even the kitchen staff are going at it. Whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> this is so difficult. There's so many people and so few weapons in prison that it's just not possible. I'm asking for a transfer. This might not be a great idea, but follow me on it, okay? I've come to FBI headquarters because I just, I want to discuss the violations that I saw, right? And then maybe they'll grant me my transfer? Who knows? I know I said the snitches get stitches, but you know what? I've died twice, so screw it. And I really don't want to go through the metal detector. So I'm just going to go over here and take your taser. Cool with that? Yeah, we're cool with that. Okay, we're off to a gr great start. Holy crap! The FBI is huge! And they have a bar! And they're drinking on the job! What- what is going on here? <laughs> Why do you guys play toothbrush darts in the middle of your office? Maybe it's casual Friday? They decided to wear their casual Friday suits and drink? Makes total sense. I don't know. You haven't worked at the FBI, neither have I. How would we know? Just, uh, explore the... Hershey Chocolate Bar office. Hello. Uh, you guys are just discussing things. This is the wrong office. I don't know where I need to go to file a complaint. But he's being very helpful right now. So I go down the hallway and then second office on the right? Okay, that should be easy enough. Second office on the right. So it must be this one. Is this the complaint department? Because I have a huge complaint to file. This, it's just a wall. The door doesn't even go anywhere! <laughs> You're sitting here guarding nothing just to piss off people that come with complaints? It's cool. Alright, I see how it is, so I don't get to file a complaint. Well, we are gonna take a look around, and then we're gonna start World War III in here. 
What's going on over here? Oh my god, there's so many stairs and offices. Employees only, huh? What's going on? Whoa. Oh, it's the kitchen. Okay, no, that makes sense. I thought that was something else for a second. That would have been a little bit more concerning. <laughs> Anything going on back here? Storehouse? Yeah, they got a whole bunch of shovels and liquor. Nothing says the FBI like shovels and liquor. Every time I walk past a door with guards, I think I shouldn't walk through here. No, we're good. More offices. Everybody's just working, working away. So many FBI agents. This is gonna be impossible. How am I gonna deal with all of these people? Hello, sir. Don't mind me. Just kicking open imaginary doors. Are you kidding me right now? What's going on in here? Ooh. Weapons. Okay, if I had a shotgun with a couple of bullets, then... Maybe I'd be... Maybe I'd be able to uh, do a little bit more work. No, uh, oh, I didn't... Who? I don't think he heard that. I meant to pick up a ninja star and bury it in the back of his skull, but instead I threw the taser like a mook. Uh, do you have bullets? Bullets. Okay. Here we go. I mean, I'm clearly not going to waste that. I could just... Um... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, but friendly fire. Friendly fire. Okay, no, I'm in here inspecting your ninja stars, sir. Very important ninja star inspection. You're doing a great job, boys. Just keep on inspecting, okay? Guys, I've seen a lot of violations here. Okay, who here actually decided to wear their bulletproof FBI issue suit today? Anybody? No? I didn't think so. My friends are getting a little bit teamed up on, so I might want to help them out just a touch. There we go. Yeah, you see, that guy wasn't wearing his face protection. All very important. We have rules for a reason, gentlemen. I don't really want to use this either. You can hold on to that, I think. There was something a little bit more interesting over here. There we go. FBI issue katana. We're gonna need to get that door fixed, okay? Hey, you. Make sure to check on that door. Sir, I'm gonna need to get you out of that floor. Okay, this isn't regulation. This is completely unacceptable. Do you have any idea what could be underneath this floor other than your crotch? Like seriously, there's a whole lot of safety issues with having people at dick height. You never know. There you go, come on out, come on out. There you go. You never know when somebody's just gonna walk by and accidentally teabag you, okay? We can't have teabagging in the workplace, sir. Do you see how unprofessional this is? This is why they don't allow teabagging in the workplace. I tried to tell them. My coworkers are doing a great job. I'm amazed they're still hanging out. Oh, here we go, finally. Some people with common sense. How is everybody doing in here today? Oh, okay, you have super supervisors coming. Supervisor is coming. Let's just, I don't have smite. Okay, you know what? That, that's perfectly fine. No, don't knife me, bro. Don't knife me, bro. Oh God, they're a little bit tough. They need some tenderizing. <laughs> Let me through. Let me through. Excuse me. Pardon me. No, I don't want to. Ow, that hurt. That took like a quarter of my health. Come on. Come on. Yes, finally. I got my way through your chunky chest. Are we good? I think we're doing better. I'm still very close to dying. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's 160 people. How am I supposed to issue a complaint? You know what, I am so done with the punishments and the laws of the Western world, so I've moved on to, uh, Mayans? Aztecs? I'm not entirely sure. They, do they all just look like fluffles to me? I've moved on to a native tribute, and uh, hopefully here we can get a little bit better. Yeah, you see? That's the kind of law that I like to see. Two naked guys just going to town on a pirate. Or now that I think about it, perhaps tenderizing a pirate? Oh, the pirate's my friend. Oh, what? No, no. I want to be friends with the naked guys. Oh, you see, they're having so much more fun. They have a boogie corner and a pyramid and uh, a jail with more of my friends. God, okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's just take a look around. Yeah, we guess this was my friend at one point too, huh? Again, I'm noticing a dramatic lack of women in this tribe. Maybe they're off hunting and gathering. Ooh, more friends. We have a lot of friends. I don't know if I can save them all. <laughs> what do I do? Oh, what's going on up here? Nothing good, right? 
Yeah, this is it. Oh, I interrupted the tribute. Okay, my bad. Time to help friends out. Friends help friends. I think the guy that was getting tributed. You're, you're my, you're my, oh, you got big meat. Oh my God, it's like I just opened the floodgates to naked hell. There's so many of them and they're coming from everywhere. Maybe we'll just leave the holy temple for last and get down and dirty with my friends, right? If I can help some of them out, then I would definitely be much better off. Oh my God, there's so many fluffles around here. <laughs> and chairs, since when do they have chairs? Oh my God, I just need friends. Pl Reinforcements are here. They're stuck in the ground, but they're here. <laughs> yes, get the boogie corner. The boogie corner will be ours. I have the holy staff again. Okay, I just need to not get hit because these guys do a ridiculous amount of damage. They've only hit me once so far and I only have a less than a hundredth of a hit left. <laughs> yes, okay, the power of uh, Aztec Christ compels you. We need to help this guy, okay? Um, nah, you know what? He might have everything under control. Yeah, I think he's good. I really don't want to use Berserk because if one of them sneezes on me the wrong way, I'm going to die. Okay, we have Smite. You know what? We're going to go up to the temple and then I will call upon the power of the gods to make that guy disappear. So he's gone. Don't need to worry about him anymore. And uh, then we're going to shoot down the non-believers. Okay, this is what you get for not believing in Aztec Jesus. There we go. There's one, come on, come on, there's one. Oh, these guys are tough. No, I'm just stripping them of their skin. <laughs> I'm not looking to make them. Yeah, no, okay, well, that's a bit of an issue. Hey there, big guy. Guys, have you seen my friends? Because I'm a little bit concerned that they might be either stuck underneath the temple or have disappeared. Friends, you see, there's, there's a reflection of a friendly face there. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, great, they're even deeper underground this time. Oh, come on! How am I supposed to beat this with Team Diglets? So I've tried this level about a dozen more times and I've come to realize that one hit from any large guy with any weapon and you're dead. Insta-kill, full health, doesn't matter. Two hits from any little guy with a spear will kill you. And then the other ones are just a little bit of mismatch. You know, they might take a third or a quarter health. But the fact that it's like one on 84 for most of this fight is absolutely ridiculous. This is so challenging. So I'm trying right now. I get this guy, you come out of your hut, and then another guy with a mace and his friend is gonna show up. Yeah, there they are over there, okay. And then after this, I'm gonna get assaulted by a whole bunch of people with suits. Yeah, there's the suit guy. Okay, so you're a one shot. If he hits me at all, I'm dead. So I need to try to shovel his arm off. And then if we could do that, then he might not kill me. What is he doing? Okay, okay, we got him. I don't know what just happened there. He kind of just stood still for a little bit in shock. <laughs> but that's great. I've also come to realize that it's not just my friends that fall underground. The enemies do too. So they'll just kind of pop up next to you every now and then. And I'm not just saying that because they sneak up on me. I have seen them walk out of the ground and then just, like that guy just walked out from underneath the temple. <laughs> so there's an issue with the pathing and the ground right now, which is certainly an issue. Uh, let's, whoa, whoa, no, no, no. Uh, that's definitely a one-shot kill. That freaking battle axe, okay. He's dead, we're doing good. I don't mind, like, oh yeah, okay. I still have some friends, it's good, but they, they just fell into the temple and then they walk out from underneath. Okay, punches, punches hurt a little bit, but not too much, go away. Six left, okay, yes, Blackbeard. Go, Blackbeard. Yeah, oh, we have another friend, a tunneler, he's out. <laughs> We just need to follow them. Please don't fall in the temple. Please don't. Guys, come on. I need, I need you out of the temple. Come on, out, there you go, out of the temple. Yes, there we go, okay. Three left, uh, you Judases. How could you? How could you turn on me like this, Blackbeard? <laughs> we were together in this. We were gonna all get out of here alive. Oh, you're the only one left and you're in prison. Well, that wasn't, oh, he couldn't figure out how to get out. Well then, I did it. 
<laughs> I finally freaking did it. Didn't even have to use my smite. Now I'm stuck in the temple. Okay, no, we're good. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And once again, thank you guys so much for supporting this series. Honestly, I'm still blown away with the support that Paint the Town Red gets because it's not new, it's not like updated or popular or anything like that, but it's still one of my most watched series. People really enjoy it, and that's why I keep returning to it. So as long as you guys keep supporting it and the videos keep doing well, I will always find more workshop levels to try out. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.